What up folks, Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. In this video, I'm going to show you some real basic audio leveling techniques as well as showing you how to normalize your audio within DaVinci Resolve. Now grab a piece of paper or a notepad or whatever because there's a few little bits I just want to give you before we open up DaVinci Resolve and have a look. The first one, the measurement, the thing we'll really be looking at in DaVinci Resolve is called DBFS. That stands for decibels full scale. The maximum level for this is zero. So the highest point is zero. Anything above zero, any positive number will be clipped, resulting in dodgy audio. So everything is done in a minus or a negative number. Now some ballpark figures for you. These aren't set in stone. You can absolutely tweak them, but just rough ideas for you to get going. Voiceover, talking, stuff like this. Minus 10 is a good ballpark figure. I sometimes push those a little bit higher if there are no other sounds in the video like these five minute Fridays, for example. Music on its own with no voiceover over the top, about minus 10 or below is a good place to start and work from there. We all know how annoying it is when someone's talking and they've put music on as well and it's too loud, you can't hear what someone's saying. So a ballpark figure for that is make sure it's at least 20 to 30 dBFS lower than the dialogue. Right, with all that out of the way, let me open up DaVinci Resolve. I'll show you what I'm actually talking about and it'll all start to make some sense. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and as you can see, I've already got a project set up here. This was a vlog I recorded and we moved around from lots of different locations. So as you can see, the volume is a little bit all over the place. Some of these clips are quite loud and other ones are a little bit quieter. So the first thing you wanna do before you start doing any of this is open up the mixer. So in the top right hand corner, you should see mixer, give that a click and your mixer will open on the right hand side. Now all of your audio tracks will appear, so I've got two, audio one and audio two, so I can see audio one and audio two here. Now this is where those figures I mentioned at the beginning start to come into play, because this meter here, this is your dBFS. So if I just move my playhead here and hit play, you can see the volume. So it's actually just going into the red, it's going up to about minus five, which generally is a little bit loud for just plain dialogue. So I need to lower that bit. Whereas this one here, if I hit play, this is me talking, but it's much, much quieter. It's down in the minus 12, minus 15 range. That's maybe just a tiny bit too quiet. So we just need to adjust these so they're all roughly the same. We could adjust them independently, but that can take a long time. So we just want to normalize everything on that track. So to do so, just click your mouse, drag like so to highlight everything and then right click and click on normalize audio levels and this little box will appear now you can leave the normalization mode as it is there's lots of different settings in there but i'm completely honest i don't fully understand them so i leave it as the sample peak program and then you've got the target level so this is your target decibels full scale so i've got mine here set to minus 10 which is about roughly where you want to be for your dialogue now you can adjust that if you need to, if you're doing music, minus 30, wherever you want it to be. If you wanted to push your dialogue just that little bit louder, you could do say minus seven, minus nine, whatever you want to be, you could, an experiment, but minus 10 is a good ballpark. And then you've got set level. You've got relative and you've got independent. Now relative will treat all of these clips as one. So it'll find the highest point in everything and then set the volume over all the files so the volume is exactly the same. Now that will work fine as long as you've not got a single point of really loud volume across all of your clips. I'll show you what that looks like. If I just click relative and then normalize, it's taken the loudest point over all of the clips and it's brought that down to be minus nine, which means some of my dialogue may be a little bit too quiet. You can see that the line across all of these audio tracks is in the same place. So the volume has been set for every single one of these clips to be the same thing. Independent will look at the individual clips and adjust the volume accordingly. So it'll take the loudest point in the individual clip and then bring the volume down so the loudest point is at our target level. So if I hit normalize now, you'll see that everything has been adjusted independently. So these clips here, you can just see the volume has been brought up this one here brought up as well, whereas these have been brought down. So now we should have a relatively consistent volume throughout. 
So now that's all of our dialogue sorted, I want to have some music playing in the background as well. So I'm going to grab a music track here, I'm going to drop it down onto my audio track 2, which I'll use purely for background music. And if we hit play, we can have a look at our meters here, and our dialogue is about minus 10, but our music is peaking right up here, minus 1, minus 2, minus 5. Either way, it's way too loud, it's way louder than our dialogue, so we need to bring the volume down. Now we could just grab this and bring it down like so, or adjust the volume within the clip volume in the inspector. But Audio 2 is only ever going to contain background music, so we can actually just adjust the volume of this entire track. We can give Audio 2 a click and then adjust the volume up in the top right hand corner here. Or the easier method, if we just hit play, we can see it peaking here. As I mentioned at the beginning, I want this to be about 20 dBFS less than my dialogue, which I set to minus 10. So I'm just going to bring this down. It's now peaking at about minus 10, so we're going to keep going. That's a little bit too far. I want it to be about minus 30. That looks more like it. And listening through my headphones, that sounds much better. Now we know that music is playing at a considerably lower volume than my dialogue, so it shouldn't be too distracting. And that's it. I hope that was useful. If it was, thumbs up, any comments, feedback, positive or negative, make sure to put them down below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.